So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the intercooler, or at least unbolt it, and then we'll get to the skid plate, remove that, then we'll remove the plastic shroud, and we will remove the radiator support along with the bumper support. And um, then we'll take it from there and see uh, how this radiator is going to come out. Um, not to forget, we're going to bleed out all the coolant, let all that come dumping out. And um, yeah, we're almost there. So let's get started on these hoses. Water. <laughs> uh, this is the Mishimoto J Line Intercooler. So, what we have to do is unbolt this one and this side, and this front skid plate will come out. The back one will stay in place because it's still held in by the two back pieces. So, if you're wondering, this guy comes up and into the hole. I'm not sure if you can even see that. I just want to get it in just a little bit. So right here, you can see that's where it goes in. Same thing on this side. I have to actually push this side down. And that's just so it doesn't fall on my face when we undo this bottom one. So from what we can see, I have to remove this hose, which I have zip tied in. Um, my air box. So now we have all this clearance to access everything in here from uh, the shroud, all the wires. I'm still very curious to how this is just going to drop right out, but we'll get it. Before we continue on, because we're going to be getting to the airbag sensors, we're going to disconnect the battery. We're going to start with the negative and the positive just to be safe. I'm always a stickler for that. this shroud so this is the temp sensor for example I've got to ah, it's held on by just clips I've got to remove that now that's you know your ambient temps outside so you are held in by clips up here one two this clip down here which was where my sensor was in so I have those to do. We're going to start off with this bottom one. It's the easier of the three that I have. And my little clip. Sometimes they screw out perfect like this, where you don't need the clip. And then 
I use this guy to come right on behind, pull it out. Now I can get this sensor. So, it's been about 20 minutes with me fiddling with this guy, and I've come to the conclusion I'm going to end up replacing it anyways, because when I have my other intake, the Malintune one, I cut this out, and I want one to completely fulfill it, so I'm just going to yank the bastard out. Um, if you have this issue, you're not the only one, but uh, these two came out nice and easy. Um, this one's a little stubborn. But yeah, it's just going to get yanked out. It's out. Broken. Yeah. Oh well. So while searching for my hood prop, I decided to reuse our airbag sensor bar. But what looks to be what I'm going to have to do first is remove all these wired connections. Um, just so that way I'm not doing it while um, everything is suspended, not being held in place. So this looks like it's the fan controller. Ah, that came right out. These look like they'll just pop right out. Um, for the hood latch and then uh, the hood latch will move as best as it can.
for these guys. They just lift up, lift up, and undoes. And out she comes. So we've got our fan shroud from the stock setup right here. We're gonna take everything off. And we're gonna transplant it over to What is Nate? I must have grabbed the seven. We're gonna transplant it over to uh, the new fan shroud assembly. So this is a size comparison of stock versus Mishimoto upgraded radiator. There's clearly a difference in size. If you can see how thin this is compared to how thick that is. So that is definitely going to make a difference on cooling. 